Hi there, adventure seekers. We're breaking ground today. This is going to be a first for us. We are doing our very first national park campground review here at the Gulf Islands National Seashore in Ocean Springs, or right outside of Ocean Springs, Mississippi. And got a lot of stuff going on here. Unfortunately, it's not all good. Um, as you can see, coming up here is a pretty nice visitor center and we were here last year nice little museum in there as well but if you come now you're not gonna see any of it because it's COVID closed out here in the distance um, you can see there's more parking there's hiking trails picnic tables and a view of the uh, river and what? A nice boardwalk that goes out. Oh yeah. And look overlook the water there. Maybe, maybe a nice boardwalk. Maybe a nice. We boardwalk. don't know, and the reason why we say it, yeah, it it's closed. probably not because a lot of areas are closed here because they're still recovering from Hurricane Zeta. Mm -hmm. um, Sad. Back a few months ago, it did a lot of damage to this whole area of um, New Mississippi and parts of Alabama. As you can see coming up here on the left, that's hurricane damage. That's pretty rough. No idea when they're gonna fix it. Honestly, so far we haven't seen any work being done anywhere. So who knows? Maybe closed for a while. Alright, so like I said, this is our first National Park Campground Review. So we're going to be checking out the 52 site campground here, which offers, well, 52 elect electric and water hookups, three tent only sites, and one group site. They do not offer any sites for horses or that are close to a boat launch, just FYI. What they do offer here is they offer, and I'm reading this right from their website, I'm not making this up, they offer dump station, they offer cell phone reception. I don't think you have to pay extra for the cell phone reception here, but they do offer it. Um, I think you have to bring your own cell phone though, I don't know. Um, trash and recycling collection, they have an amphitheater which is open seasonally. Yeah, see here's another boardwalk that's closed mm. as part of the hiking trust. This is really going to put in a damper on a lot of the hiking around here. Um, they have staff or volunteer host on site seasonally. They have potable water, which is always a nice thing to have. I enjoy potable water. They also have flush toilets. Now who doesn't like a good flush toilet? I mean, mm -hmm. leave a note in the comments below if you prefer not to have a flush toilet because I don't want to hear your reasoning why. And that's year round, by the way, too. And they also offer showers, hot showers dash hot year round so they have hot showers year round which is cool do they offer gators i've seen gators here they do have gators here we have seen gators here in a couple of different locations um so here is the um, pavilion area lots of picnic tables out here it's a, just a really nice little um i say little i think it's one of the largest national parks in the country i think i read that somewhere There'll be some notes here scrolling by to tell me if I was right or wrong. All right, so we just, we, you missed check-in. Sorry about that. Um, we'll show, try to show you that on the other side. But here are the campsites. One nice thing about these campsites are they are concrete pads, mostly level, but they're also angled. So it makes it easy for back-end slots. Here on the left is um, the bathhouse. Face masks are required as we're, we're filming this the middle of um, the middle of uh, what month is this? March. Yeah, it's March. Big old Montana right there. And see, there's a lot of empty spots here, but the sign up front said this place is full. So obviously, these are all reserved. And that's probably why they all have these little red and white reserve cards on them. It is a Friday, so a lot of people are coming in for the weekend. And it's I'm a sure. beautiful Friday. Beautiful Friday. It is. 
Um, and here's actually, you could, to the right, you probably didn't notice it, is the back side of the visitor center. So we've actually driven all the way around, so we're behind the visitor center now, across the water, across the water. But, you know, these sites are pretty nice. They have a picnic table, have a fire pit. And again, like I said, they look pretty darn level. And honestly, what's really nice too is they have a curb at the end of them so you don't back too far, if you know what I'm saying. Now, this guy here's got all the room in the world for a site because he's just got that little R pod and a tent. Here's the dump station. Where you can, you know, dump. <laughs> There's a handicap spot on the left. And it's just because it's close to the um, the bathhouse, I guess, because the other handicap spot is this boundary right here, which is not close to anything. So I don't know what makes a handicap spot a handicap spot here. Extra space. Oh, extra space. Hey, check you out. Right. Extra space, okay. Okay, so now we're gonna watch this Jayco try to back in. Hopefully he's still gonna start cutting the wheel the other way pretty soon or he's gonna mess this up. And he's not cutting the wheel. <laughs> All right, so battery went dead in this camera, but we got it. The guy, the guy, um, told us to go around we had barely enough room to get around as you saw here and well who knows how long it's going to take him to get back to the spot pretty good driver. yeah it's pretty through here yeah, it's pretty wooded but if you have like a satellite dish um there's plenty of spots here where you got good clear access to the sky uh, really good we we're getting two to three bars of at&t and honestly one or two bars of verizon so okay cell reception here so is what it is come to a national park and camp enjoy nature your nature you come to a national park to camp and enjoy nature now we're gonna make this next lap through here and we're gonna check out the restroom Oddly enough, the restrooms at the visitor center are closed because the whole thing is closed. But at least the restrooms here are open. And since well, this is fe federal property, you are required to wear face masks at this point in time at least. You are required to wear face masks when you're indoors on any federal property. That was an executive order signed by President Biden when he first took office. And that's obviously in effect here so Shelly will be masked up to go into the bathroom and film it for you so let's go take a look at the bathroom So Shelly has successfully returned from scooping out the bathroom. Yep. No showers. It's just a bathroom. Makes me wonder about the tent camping, folks. Well, Hopefully they don't tent camp for too long, if you know what I mean. Especially in the summertime. Woo! Yeah, that'd be bad. That'd be bad. I don't know, maybe they have them somewhere else. But I, I haven't know. seen anything, but... This is all we've seen. Could so, be elsewhere. All right. So, have you ever stayed at the Gulf Islands National Park? Have you ever been here? Just visit it. Let us know. Drop a note in the comments below. Um, if you've got any ideas on what to do in this area, I'll give you one. A couple miles down the road in Ocean Springs is a place called Quakes. Frozen Custard. You've never tried frozen custard and you like ice cream well you're gonna love frozen custard so definitely check out quakes so that's the only one I'm gonna tell you you tell me if you've been in this area before you tell me what's gonna be a good thing to do besides the National Park here what is there good to do in the area 
Um, we're also going to have a link to a couple of the videos we've done in the Biloxi area. So you can see some of the sites we've seen already. And hopefully that will encourage you to come out and enjoy this area. Because honestly, the Gulf Coast is great. I mean, we love it. Uh, we really do. I mean, we've spent four months here almost already, so we definitely love it. This park does not lack for picnic tables and picnic areas. I love the solar on the shelter there, too. Yeah. I guess for you to have lights at night. Yep. Now, showers in there, maybe? No. Just bathrooms? Yeah, I would imagine. Mm. Nice, big, covered areas i mean i cannot believe how many picnic tables are here with grills mm -hmm. lots and lots and lots of them which is pretty cool all right now just off to, well actually before you get to the main campground is this road which takes you to the boat launch and the tent camping areas you can see on the right we already got a couple of tent campers set up so they're just enjoying Oh, this is the organized group tent camping. They also have some cabin rentals here on the left. Pretty neat. I mean, those look nice mm -hmm. and unoccupied. Ooh, but you can see how beautiful it is today. <laughs> yep, here's the boat launch area. It's BYOB, bring your own boat. <laughs> yeah, we don't have one. Yep. So just let's try it down here real quick. Okay. But it does look like an area you can come and sit in the grass. Somebody's fishing, so. Yep. Very nice. Yep. Very, very nice. There's people from Ohio here. It's just places out of control. Okay. Thanks so much for watching this video and make your next journey an epic adventure. Bye. Bye.